I want to talk to you about the fourth anniversary of the Universal Apostolic Preferences. They were given to us as a mission from the Holy Father in 2019. And I think that was the most important thing, in fact, that the Holy Father gave us this, this mission, emphasizing very importantly that the first preference, showing the way to God, that that preference is key to all the preferences. So just thinking about how we've changed, what we've learned in the last four years, I had a couple of thoughts. First of all, we've learned, I think, humility. Through spiritual conversation, through prayer, through discernment, we've learned that we're not really in charge of the mission, that it's God's mission, and that we have to listen to God, listen to Jesus, catch the Spirit, and then decide and act. They're the key moments. So listening, it gives us a real humility. Having meetings, yes, important. Writing documents, yes, of course, important. But listening to God's Spirit, to where the call is, and being ready to move and to change and to deepen, that's a key lesson from the last four years. And I've seen it as I go around provinces, and I, as I read province plans, and as I help provincials and provinces, including our collaborators, as I help them to discern the way forward. So humility. And the second lesson, our second lesson, I think, has been the way we can be passionate again as Jesuits. It reignited our passion. It helped us to dream. Passion about showing the way to God. Passion about care for the excluded and those who are thrown aside. Helping the young. So many young people are poor in the world today. Helping the young to find a hope-filled future in a world where there's so much darkness. And then lastly, the common home. That was perhaps the, the preference that surprised people and that gave a lot of consolation. We knew that this was an important issue for our world and for our planet. We didn't quite know how to enter into it. And having it as a preference has pushed us, encouraged us, called us to think about the common home, to pray about the common home, and to ask what specifically in our Jesuit and Ignatian tradition can, can help us to move forward. So, summarizing what we've learned in four years, we've learned again to discern in humility, to listen, and to use spiritual conversation to do that. Humility. And secondly, passion. We've rediscovered passion for so many of the the works that we have for so many initiatives, passion and the ability to dream again, to dream God's dream for the world. Big lessons from the preferences, six more years to go, it's still an adventure.